Hi, I'm Marcus Pritchard. I'm the Sales and Marketing Director at Convair Networks and Imeo Software Solutions. Uh, we're a system integration business uh, and a software solutions business uh, aiming at helping uh, companies and businesses drive efficiencies and productivities within their supply chain. Automation's key uh, because, well, let's make sure that we uh, interpret the word automation properly. Um, platforms or virtual assistant platforms like Alexa and Siri can be referred to as automation these days, but I don't think we're talking about those at the moment. We're talking about uh, the supply chain and fulfillment within the supply chain, so physical equipment. Um, if I put my retailer hat on, uh, it's about being as competitive as possible. Um, it's about um, delivering on really high consumer expectations these days, uh, and ultimately competition drives growth within the sector. Um, what are the drivers to be more competitive? I'm thinking reduced errors. Um, I'm thinking it's about being on time. Uh, there's no late orders these days, and if there is, you can have problems with your, with your consumer relationship. Uh, and it's about order visibility as well. The consumers want to know exactly where the, uh, the orders are at any given time in, in real time. Uh, automation ultimately enables all of those things um, whilst driving uh, productivity and, and enhancing efficiency within your business to, to drive the cost down of, of, your, of your orders and your product. Top tips for automation. Uh, number one tip from me would be to look to install and deploy uh, a system outside of Q3. Uh, it's quite common now that, that installs happen within Q3 uh, based on the financial year um, and ultimately that means that uh, there is undue pressure uh, on the manufacturers, uh, the integrators uh, and the retailers themselves. Uh, peaks fast approaching, we can't have any slippage uh, within the project rollout plan. And if there is, um, uh, there's, there's repercussions for everybody involved. So a top tip for me would be to look to install systems maybe in Q1 or Q2, um, which gives you the ability to uh, acclimatise the system uh, ahead of a peak period, allows for any slippage and, and ultimately makes for a, uh, a more gradual rollout plan. Top three challenges in retail, uh, I'd have to go to uh, peak periods and managing peak periods. Uh, that's the number one concern for retailers out there right now, I think. Uh, there's big volume shifts from, from off, to peak, off peak to peak. Uh, the customer demands don't change um, from off peak to peak and there's a whole, whole lot of volume uh, to, to, to deliver on. Um, there's big staff costs in peak as well. Uh, it's about managing those costs, managing the staff training they're in keeping the error rates down and, uh, and that's, a, that's a, a big problem for retailers to overcome at the moment. Second challenge would be knowing when to automate. Uh, there's a balancing act between the incumbent manual processes uh, and what the future looks like with automation uh, and I think some retailers uh, can get a little bit anxious and concerned about that. You know, there's a, there's a capital expenditure there and they don't want to get it wrong. Um, once that decision is made to automate, there arrives the third challenge, which is um, deploying the right technologies for you at that given time. Um, a system integration partner, a good system integration partner, should be able to help you with both of those things, i.e. knowing when to automate and providing all the options of the different parts of the system that's right for the retailer uh, at that given time.